now I'm going to start the layering of the lighter tones on top. So you can see I've already got this um, lighter kind of a sienna colored pencil. So I'm gradually going to work lighter and lighter, laying layers on top of layers, just like I would with a paintbrush. No difference whatsoever. Drawing those marks in the direction of the feather growth. Once again, as always, little indications here and there. Not going to go, you know, really hyper realistic. I'm kind of going away from that style the more I'm drawing and painting. But I'm, I'm not going very loose, but I just want to say enough about the textures and the feathers on the owl to make it look really believable when you're say five or ten foot away. So you could see then I was going to go in light but I've got to get the darks in first really so I'm darkening this area right down. It's easier then to get the lights to show up on top. See how much easier that is now for it to be seen. And if the feathers are in long strokes or long areas, I put in a long stroke. If we're looking at little tiny feathers, then I just put in little dabbing motions. So I'm really studying the reference photo now. Usually I work from the outside inward, so furthest away from the eye, then coming in towards it, so that the feathers can overlap, just as they do on the photograph. And I'm not using that sharp a pencil at this stage. I find if I want that slightly thicker, softer line, you know, I make sure my pencil is fairly blunt. And then I'll really sharpen them up with my crank handle sharpener, so my swordfish or my new Derwent that I've recently um, put a video up on YouTube showing different sharpeners that will all work with these pastel pencils. So I'll keep that, you know, I'll, I'll really sharpen them up for the later stages when I want to get the really fine detail in. If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos and there's also photo references with the Easy Trace line art on there. I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me and that's on Patreon. And also if you're after even more reference photos, I've got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos. I think there's about 900 on there at the moment. So that's wildlife art hyphen online.com now please with my youtube channel new videos coming on here as well if you can possibly subscribe to the channel then you're never going to miss out on new videos